you have pottery that requires dating, there are a few different approaches you can choose to use. The best approach depends on the condition and level of preservation of your sample, as well as your research aims. There are three main portions of pottery you may date, as shown here. First is the charred food residue present on the interior surfaces of the pottery. This is the preferred portion to date as it offers the best chance of providing a date that aligns with the last time of use. The larger the food residue, the better. Ideally, the lab would be able to extract chunks of food rather than just the powder. The second option is the bulk shared organics. These are the organics in the clay that survived the firing and absorbed organics from food or liquid storage. This is the next best option if the food residue is not available. However, this method assumes that the plant or organic material used to create the pot was recently living before it was used. As a result, the date you receive from this method will provide you with a minimum age. Finally, the third option is to extract the date the tempering agents were used to solidify the pot, which is generally clay. The clay used to make the pottery may have plant pieces, as you can see from the image. Sometimes the clay and organic inclusions may have been laid down many years before it was used to make the pottery. As a result, you may only receive a minimum age again, but this is assumed to have less certainty than the other two methods. Regardless of the option you choose to date your pottery, we recommend you contact us about your project so we can provide you with some advice to ensure you receive the most accurate results possible.